Faster, gunpowder! Faster! school teacher Ichabod Crane was never seen again. And so ends Washington Irving's classic tale, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. A perfect tale for the day before Halloween, wouldn't you say, class? And aren't we lucky? Our new Sleepy Hollow Museum even has Irving's original manuscript from 1819, perfectly preserved. Pretty cool. Yeah! Irving really steeped himself in the spooky legends of the region before he wrote his story. I meant the case, Kate. It's totally airtight and kept at a constant temperature. Pretty cool. No, what's really cool, Nick, is that the legend of Sleepy Hollow is not just a story. Parts of it are said to be true and based on real people of the time. That's an interesting theory, Kate. Thanks, Mrs. Wentworth. I've done a lot of reading. So, for all we know, you, Nick Crane, could be a distant relative of Ichabod Crane. <laughs> That's just another one of Kate's theories, but it's totally bogus. I mean, I'm no scaredy cat like old Ichabod was. <laughs> I'd say I just proved Kate's theory conclusively, Nickabod Crane. Tucker, I am not related to Nickabod, I mean Ichabod Crane. Then how come you're so jumpy? <laughs> Maybe you can scare all of us, Tucker, tomorrow at school with your entry in the most scary pumpkin contest. So let's get busy. And the haunted house still needs a lot of work. Don't worry. Nick and I are on it. It'll be the scariest place in town, except for old Castle Van Tassel. Bye! 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 Bye. Finally, Grunk, they're gone. Yeah, Leo. Now this is pretty cool, Nick. Yeah, I had to disassemble my remote control miniature mirror space station to make it, but no problem. You think that spider is creepy? Wait till I get this zombie put together. Too bad we don't have any music to make monsters by. You've thought of everything.
Graveyard. Yeah, that green jelly from the cafeteria is kind of unearthly. Especially when smeared all over the skeleton from the biology lab. It ought to make the haunted house a howling success. Yeah, we just forgot one thing. We still need to carve a scary pumpkin for the pumpkin contest. Hey, there's still plenty of time to buy a nice big one. After we wash off this slime. Huh? 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 Crane, I come for you! Huh? Yikes! Huh? <laughs> You look like you've seen a ghost! Worse! Look! What? Look. It's the ghost of the Headless Horseman! And it's real! Yikes! Real disappointing. Very funny, Tucker. You should have seen Nickabod's face. Nick, it's just Tucker trying to be cute. Oh, I am cute. <sighs> Nick? Hey, hey, knew it all along. Nice touch with the goggles, though, Tuck. Knew it all along? Yeah, right. I've never seen anybody so scared. Right, Kate. The haunted house is gonna be a screaming success. <laughs> what? He wasn't too pleased with our window cleaning job, Grunk. <laughs> yeah, we cleaned the place out good and properly, yo. <laughs> Can I plan a brilliant heist or what? Mwah! Uh, it's empty. We're out of gas. I thought I told you to fill it up yesterday. Uh, I forgot. Uh, stop! Uh, I hope you didn't forget how to run! Ah. Stop! Thieves! Come back here! Uh, you 
know, back at the school, you didn't really think I was scared, did you? Because I wasn't. Don't worry about it. That Tucker is such a goofball. Yeah, right. We ought to be able to find a good pumpkin here. I should have been riding in comfort, not doing the sleepy hollow marathon. Watch where you're going, Grunk. This manuscript is almost 200 years old, and it's gonna be worth plenty to us. Uh, sorry, Leo, but that guard is a lot faster than he looks. Stop! Both of you! Well, I'm a lot smarter than I look. We just need a place to hide our loot. Perfecto. We can come back and pick this up. After we've given that guard the slip. Now, help me cover this pumpkin up. <sighs> Nobody steals a manuscript from under my nose. They're all so small. <sighs> Kate, this is the third stand we've been to. I know, I know, but we need a really humongous pumpkin. You know, the biggest pumpkins grow wild. We could try that old pumpkin patch deep in the woods. The woods? Uh, looks like it could rain. Hmm. I mean, you're the expert, Kate. Lead on. Uh, why are we walking backwards, Leo? Well, if you must know, it's so that the guard won't realize we've doubled back here. Pretty smart, huh? That's why I'm the brains of this outfit. Ah, ow! And that's why you're the brawn! Come on. Now, we'll just pick up our loot and... Oh, the guard! Hide! Bingo! We've got a much better selection than those stands. Wow, you were right, Kate. This is Pumpkin Central. I'll find us a nice big one. Hey, that's not the guard. Shh! I can see that. We'll just have to wait till they leave to retrieve our loot. No, nope. Uh-uh. You called that a pumpkin? Whatever. How about this one? Please. Fine, Kate. Tell you what, I'll just sit over here until you find the perfect pumpkin. Ow! I think I just found it. I'll say, now that's a pumpkin. Good work. Uh, don't mention it. Hmm, maybe it is gonna rain. That does it. Those kids ain't getting our pumpkin. What are you kids doing out here all alone? Looking for a pumpkin. Hey, aren't you the guard from the museum? Yeah, soon to be ex-guard. Two thieves posing as window washers stole the Sleepy Hollow manuscript. Hmm. And they even did a lousy job on the windows. That's terrible. Tell me about it. I'm gonna lose my job for having the museum robbed right under my nose. Is there anything we can do? No, let a professional handle this. Hey, right. Let a professional handle this, Kate. <sighs> Too bad we couldn't have helped that poor museum guard. I'm sure he'll catch him, Kate. You want to carve this guy, or should I? I'm glad I caught you two before I left. This haunted house stuff looks pretty impressive. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Very 
impressive. I can hardly wait to see what the rest of the class thinks of it. Well, Tucker was certainly impressed. I can imagine. Good luck with your pumpkin. Don't stay too late. We won't, Mrs. Wentworth. Let's get started. Great! I'll draw the face! Huh? What? Did you do that? Me? Uh-uh, no way. Maybe it was Tucker trying to scare me again. Not that I'm scared. Well, it's spooking me. Let's put it in the window. Hey, Grunk, isn't that our pumpkin? Uh, I don't know. Somehow it looks scarier than our pumpkin. Well, I intend to get it back and the manuscript inside it. Come on. Ooh! Climb up, scare the kids, then grab the pumpkin. Whoa! It's me, you dunderhead. Whew! I was scared. Nah, you're scary. Now let's get you fixed up. Uh, Leo, it's dark. Okay, so what do you think is making it glow? I don't know. Phosphorescence from the field? Maybe we should dissect it. Or maybe not. Ah! 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 Oh! Did you see that? It was hard to miss. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Careful, Kate. Ah! Ah! Please, don't harm me! Calm down! Guess ectoplasm doesn't show up on film, Kate. But that means he's a real... a... Uh, ghost! Of course uh, I'm a ghost lad. Uh, uh, it's uh, Halloween Eve, is it not? The night all ghosts get to roam. But I've never seen one like that horrible creature in there. Scary! Anyway, I cannot tarry. I daren't be around when the Headless Horseman comes back for his head. Things shall get really ugly for you live ones. You may be ectoplasm, but that's just a pumpkin. Wrong. Huh? It's a haunted pumpkin. As sure as my name is Nathaniel Wiley, who lived and died at the Battle of White Plains. Wow! Washington Irving mentioned that battle in his tale of the Headless Horseman. Hmm. <laughs> What does a rider know? Let me tell you the true story of that horseman. He was a Hessian, a merciless mercenary soldier who made a deal with dark forces so he would be unbeatable. Luckily, some of the revolutionary elders knew magic of their own. The Hessian was defeated and beheaded. Huh? And his head magically turned into a pumpkin. And so it has remained for centuries. End of story. Right? Wrong. <gasps> Today is the anniversary of his death. If the pumpkin is placed on the headless horseman's shoulders, at the stroke of midnight on Halloween Eve, the evil Hessian will live again, wholly unstoppable. I knew that Irving's story was based on fact. I'm glad you're happy. But this sounds pretty bad. Aye, bad it is, lad. But the Hessian only has one chance. Puts that pumpkin on his neck at exactly the stroke of midnight, and not one second after. It will retransform into his real head. And the evil creature will stalk the earth once more. Ugh, that can't be good, Nathaniel. Hey, look on the bright side, guys. All we have to do is keep the pumpkin away from the headless horseman till after midnight. We? 
Gee, I don't know. You look so familiar, lad. You remind me of a schoolteacher named Ichabod Crane. A nervous, timid, fidgety sort. You wouldn't be related to him by any- No! Okay, we're gonna keep that pumpkin out of the horseman's hands. The school doors are locked from the inside anyway. That should keep us safe until- Nick! Oh! No! I thought you said there was just one headless horseman. <gasps> We've got to get out of here. around here is you! This thing is fake! So what's the deal with the two headless horsemen? <sighs> I guess you're in bigger trouble than I thought. But you're gonna help us stop them, right? Well... Uh... A hero of the Battle of White Plains? Chickening out? Of course I'll help! What have I got to lose? I'm already dead! <gasps> Oh, stop your moaning and get a grip, Crunk! Those kids tricked us and got away with our pumpkin! Oh, let them have it, Leo. It's just a pumpkin. The manuscript is inside, pumpkin head! Oh, yeah. Why didn't you say so? Oh. They won't get away for long. You're running on the street, Kate. But it'll be easier to lose those headless horsemen in these woods. <sighs> ah! If we don't end up headless first... This is all the Hessian's doing. He wants to hold you till he can come claim his head. Yeah, well he needs to catch us first. Die! Ah! Let go! <laughs> Okay, so maybe the woods wasn't such a good idea, but we need a place to hide out with the pumpkin till after midnight. Got any ideas? Yes! Old Castle Van Tassel has plenty of places to hide. Uh, I don't know about that, Kate. That place is creepy even in the daylight! Not scared, are you? Me? No way, never! I, uh, I was just thinking of poor Nathaniel's nerves! Oh! <laughs> Let's get out of here! Let's try not to lose them, shall we? Oh, hey, watch it, you clumsy oaf! Uh, um, I didn't do nothing. Ah, uh, never mind. Just follow me. Uh. Ooh. Hey, I said follow me! I'm the leader of this outfit! Uh, maybe those trees have stopped moving by now. Don't be silly. We just hide here for a few more hours and it'll be all over. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. This is Castle Van Tassel? In my time, it was an opulent place. 
Old Baltus Van Tassel was so proud of his pricely possessions and rare artifacts. Unfortunately, his relatives lost all his money in the stock market crash of 1929. <sighs> Kate's an expert on old Sleepy Hollow history. <sighs> Too bad I'm not an expert at old Sleepy Hollow locks. This thing is stuck. <sighs> no. <sighs> Phew. Ugh, oh, that is too bad. Looks like we'll have to find another place to hide from the Headless Horseman. <laughs> Nick, stop shaking. It was just the wind. I'm not shaking. It's just that Nathaniel is a real heavy. Heavy? I'm in material, lad. I'm a ghost. See? Whoa, incoming! Look out! Oh. Go! Ah. I once parried a musket ball with my short sword and have the dent to prove it. Nanga! On guard! I bayonets, is it? No matter, me lad. Victory is ours! I have battled the bat like the Battle of White Plains. The enemy is vanquished. Let's go! The place certainly is deserted. Ah, but when the Van Tassels were alive, the castle was filled with partygoers. Now to find a good place to hide. Uh, uh, did someone say deserted? It's been uh, so long uh, since we had guests. We never get visitors. Tonight we ghosts can strut our stuff. We're happy to appear. We hope we scare you quite enough. We're here to spread good fear. Wake up, you lazy dentists. Get yourselves in gear. We ghosts have gifts, so please look alive. Sometimes our guests arrive. <laughs> Wake up, you lazy deadheads. Your mission is quite clear. We ghosts have gifts, so please look alive. And if you faint, who knows if you'll revive. <laughs> You could have stayed outside. Yes, we suppose. We hope these iron feet don't cross your little toes. We'll let the spirits move you with a ghostly melody. A perfect night for dancing, oh, so supernatural. So please look alive. Let's try to keep our visitors terrified. We ghosts have guests, so please look alive. You never danced so well before you die. Nothing up my sleeve. Did you see that? Well, uh, yeah. Why are you taking his side? Because anyone with eyes in his head can see that you're a cheat. Am not. I too. 
Uh, we gotta go. So there you are. I thought I'd never shake that spider. <laughs> ah! Is he your friend? Uh, no harm done. Yeah, you can start over. Not after 300 years. What are you doing with that card? Are you cheating too? Cheating? I wasn't even playing. I say he's cheating. <coughs> Me too. Uh, gotta go. Scoundrels, get them. <sighs> <sighs> Nice try, Nicobod. But I did the Headless Horseman trick first. What a copycat. Well, I'm not scared and I'm not moving. Trees must have gone to fight school. It's them. Our manuscript is inside. Let's go. This is not good, Kate. We not only have the headless horseman to keep the pumpkin away from, but I know we have to play keep away from a bunch of ghosts. <gasps> not the lead feet again. Uh, this way. <laughs> We didn't have to make a haunted house at school. We could have brought the class here. I say we take our chances outside. Leaving so soon? <gasps> How rude. We just won't hear of it. We haven't even begun to scare you. Are you okay? Great costume, but it must be hard to see where you're riding, kid. Well, you're a night early, but I guess you deserve some candy for that outfit. Well, let's see. All I have are some breath mints. Here, trick or treat. <laughs> Listen, you didn't happen to see a pair of window washers running through the woods, did you? Well, if you should see them, tell them this guard's hot on their trail, and he's gonna catch them! We need to find a hiding place now! I spy one! Thanks a lot, Nathaniel! Sorry! War hero? There is no call for insults, lass. Yikes! Nathaniel, you did it! I, I did? 
I, I mean, of course I did. I knew you would. <gasps> the pumpkin! Where's the pumpkin? I think it's trying to get away. And it's doing a pretty good job. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's just those kids trying to scare us. But I'm going to give them the scare of their lives. Then I'll get their pumpkin and get our manuscript and we'll be rich. <laughs> Uh-oh! Hey, if I were you, I'd hide that pumpkin, because it's really the Headless Hessian's head. The beast who scared of Ichabod Crane and left her daughter Katrina to marry that lout, Brom Bones! Really, dear, calm yourself. Remember your blood pressure. It was the death of you. I want this thing out of here at once! <laughs> Thank you. I'll be leaving now. No! Kate! I dare not look. I feared this would get ugly. Whoa! Ah! Yeah! Oh! Yikes! Oh! I got it! Oh! <laughs> Leo, what are you doing back out here? <laughs> Pumpkin? I did it! I got back on Pumpkin! And even if I did forget to fill up the van, I deserve a big fat raise! <sighs> okay, okay, forget about the raise. <gasps> oh. Man, how many headless horsemen are there around here? Um, uh, I count three. Well, I say they can't all be real. I'd go with the one on the zombie horse. <gasps> yeah, definitely the one on the zombie horse. Right, which leaves us with just one headless ghost. <laughs> the headless horseman! Uh, okay, okay, here you go, boss. Crunk. Huh? You fool! What are you doing? I'm over here! Uh, th then who is this? And where'd he get the horse? <coughs> no! I think I better be going, but I'm too scared to move. Well, for once, I'm not. Uh, ah. Got it! Uh. Nick, quick, get rid of it! Uh-oh. Uh. Ah. Uh What you mean, uh, heads off? Uh, be gone, foul fiend! Let's get it, Grump! Uh. Uh. Thought you'd get away, eh? I'd say you window washers are washed up. Now hand over the manuscript. 
Faster, Kate! Faster! He's waited centuries for this. Nick, don't give it to him! <sighs> Let her go, you headless freak! Nick, no! It's midnight! <gasps> <gasps> it's all over! I dare not look! That old clock tower may say it's midnight, but my GPS synchronized watch is never wrong. It's actually 12.01. Oh, Nick. You're a smart lad. I always knew ye had it in you. <gasps> Bravo! Well done. What a perfect end to a perfectly frightening party. Aye, we have vanquished the foul fiend. Come, dear. This shall be the most joyous Halloween at Castle Van Tassel since you've been alive. Wow! They look pretty darn happy for ghosts. Yeah, now that the Headless Horseman is gone forever. But at least we still have our pumpkin. And he looks really happy to be rid of that Hessian, too. <gasps> it's the missing Washington Irving manuscript. No wonder those crooks were after this pumpkin. You know what something like this is worth? I don't know, but we could try an online auction. Hmm. Just kidding, Katie. I know it's priceless. And it should go back in its temperature control case. Don't worry. I'll put it back where it belongs and put these two where they belong. In jail. Uh, oh, oh. I ain't sharing a cell with him. Thanks for finding this, you two. Sometimes even a professional needs a little help. Nice costume, kid. Here's a mint. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Ghosts, do not eat candy. Well, you deserve something, Nathaniel. We couldn't have done it without your help. On the contrary, you were the brave ones. Especially you, lad. You might look like old Ichabod, but there can't be any relation because you have too much courage. Uh, well, Kata, I am distantly related to Ichabod Crane on my father's side. I knew it! But why didn't you tell me sooner? Because till now there was nothing much to brag about. But you know, I think I showed the true crane colors tonight. matter, Tucker? Don't you want to go into the haunted house? I think you saw enough of that monster last night, Mrs. Wentworth. Well, I think you two did a great job on it. Oh, yeah? Well, they did a really lousy job on their pumpkin. I mean, they're never gonna win the scary pumpkin contest. This happy pumpkin is totally unscary. <laughs> no! You think? Uh... I beg to differ. Ah! Ah! No! <gasps> ha 
How'd you do that, Nick? Sorry, trade secret, right, Kate? Right, Nick.